Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we will take a look at how to write API test for put method. So let's get started. Hey, welcome to my channel, Automation Bro. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified of my newly uploaded content. So let's take a look at the endpoint that we will be writing the test for. So I'm back here in our website, gores.co.in and I'm logged in. Make sure to log in and then go to REST console. So over here, we are working with our users endpoint. So what I'm going to do is since you're working with the put route here, before actually going there, we should know which user we're going to work with. So I'm going to hit send here. And then here we can just pick any of our uh, users. So let's say if I pick this one to seven, let's do this users slash one to seven. If I hit enter or send request, there you go. So we're just getting this user back. And what we're going to do now is go to put and then actually try to change the data for this particular user. So what put lets you do is basically update your existing um, body, right? So in this scenario, we have this response body being returned. If you want to change the data, let's say the name, the email, gender, whichever field that's editable, we can do that using the put request. So let's test it out. So I'm going to change in this scenario. Let's say change the status. It's inactive. Let's change it to active. I'm going to go here, make it active and then hit send. All right, there you go. It's active. So that's pretty good. It's working. Uh, maybe we want to change name also. So instead of saying this, let's change it to something else. I'm going to change it to, let's say name. And then here I will, let's say Luffy. And then I'm going to hit send. All right, it's updated. So we have Luffy and the status is active. Perfect. So this is working. And uh, obviously with this put, we need to make sure the authorization is there. If you don't pass that in, it won't really work. So we're going to put this token in our test, just like we did for our post test. All right, so let's head over to our code section and then we'll get started. All right, so I'm back here in our code. And um, this was the previous test that we wrote, which is the post slash users. And what we're going to do now is write our new test, which is put users. So I will just create a new it block. Name this put slash users. This one would be with ID. So I'm going to do with ID. And then over here, we need obviously a data. So something that we will be changing. So let's do the same thing that we did. We will change the status. We don't need to put this. We'll do status. Oops. Status equals active. And then we will do, let's say, gender also. We'll change that to, actually not gender. Let's change the name. We'll change name to, uh, what was that? Luffy. And then I also want to change it to some random number because uh, we will test it out by running that test multiple times. So I'm going to copy this exact same code. Put it over here. All right, so this is good enough. And I need to fix this. And use a template string instead. Right, this is good. So we have our status, we have this name, which and this random number that will come in front. So this is good enough. And I will fix this. Right, now let's create our request. So the request is straightforward. If you have been following previous videos, you know what to do here. You can in fact try it out on your own. And uh, you can compare this with my code. All right, so we have return request. This time we're gonna use put. The route would be users slash ID. So I'm going to take a random number over here. So let's, I don't know, we'll, we'll take 10. And I'll assume that it's there. So we'll then create our token or basically set our token. Authorization. And same thing, which is pair token. Okay, that's good. We need to send the data. So obviously this time we are sending this data to update this existing users. What we did previously was sending the data to create a user. That's the difference. Now we will add dot 10. Add in our response. And let's try to just print this out to see what happens. Press start body. All right, just let's see if this works. I'm going to do dot only to just run this test. Make sure we don't have dot only here. Yeah, we don't. Okay, I'm going to do 
was it npm test i guess yeah okay so our test ran and it says that resource not found well that's probably because they don't have a user with id 10 so let's make sure that we are picking up a user that's actually there so let's do that i'm gonna go back to chrome i'm gonna do get on slash users again and pick something from here um 132 sure we'll go with that 132 okay we're back here i'm gonna change this to 132 and then we will run the test again all right so this is good we have the name which is updated we have this id here too which is also updated uh well sorry id is not updated id is same but the status is updated to active so that's perfect we are actually changing the status we are doing this and then what we're going to do is actually now verify or basically add in our assertions here so for that i'm going to do status expect um what are we expecting that actually you know we can do the same thing that we did here this whole thing should match by the data that we are providing so what we had if you don't remember what we did before so we are doing rest.body.data and the data that actually we are getting back should match this particular data over here so let's run this and see if this works all right perfect so this is working that's awesome so let's actually go back to chrome and see if this test actually got updated over there so i'm going back here and what i'm going to do is do a get on slash 132 and if you notice over here the name is this and then the status is inactive if i hit send so there you go we have our status active as well as this name 1931 and we can actually quickly test this out that it's the exact same name that we created over here what i will do is print out our data and I can do that over here. Console.log press.body.data. And then we'll run this. It's 8914. Let's go back there, do a get request. And it's 8914. Awesome. So our put request is actually working, it's getting updated, which exactly what we wanted. Let me go back to our test. All right, and I will remove this console log from here because we don't need this. You were just testing it out. And that's pretty much it. We created our data. We have a request here and we can pass in any status, any name or any editable fields. Get that updated, verify that with our assertion over here. And that's pretty much it for our put test. And one thing if you notice that we are passing this hard coded ID, well, the best way to do this is actually send an id that we know will for sure will be there let's say we don't want someone to come in and then delete this 132 id and which happened with us when we were trying with id 10. so what we will do is in the upcoming videos make it in a way so that we create a user and then we use that id for that user to update some data this way we know for sure that the id will always be there in the next video we will take a look at the delete route that would allow us to delete an existing resource Alright, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.